Yeah, like we come home and we walking different like you was tough and all that, homie. That shit only impress people from the street, the gutter, the slums. In real life, regular people don't think about that. They look at you like, get the fuck out of here. That shit don't mean nothing. It don't make you more or less than a man, but people started, you know, so a lot of dudes get mad because I'll be like, so what? He just did 40 years, homie. We all been to prison. I don't respect the dude because, yo, he just did 60 years. Who gives a fuck, bro? <laughs> what, he yeah. did 60 years. He was taking up space, nigga. He was quiet up there. Now he come home tough. You get it? So, yeah, you think it, you think it fast, though. Yeah. Hey, so you know, so you know soul B and shit, huh? Yeah, I know. I, I know who you're talking about. The blood nigga. Y'all was, y'all was at war with them. You was at war with soul B. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Facts. They just yeah, told the story. The they, they, I just be watching the um, I just be watching the um, flip the script shit. Queen flip the shit. You know yeah, what? yeah. They just told the story upside down. They told the story so, and through the whole story, they was winning. They lied on Queen's flip. Nah, they said they said y'all was getting it in, bro. Nah, nah. They gotta say we was getting it in because I was putting them in the hospital. They gotta say that I was hospitalizing them. Facts. You get it? He, 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 he gave, he gave y'all, y'all respect, man. You I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that part. Maybe I missed something. You heard? Maybe I missed something. But he had to say that because I was putting them in the infirmary on the daily basis by the hundreds. Yo, he said y'all was getting in. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Ho- uh, hopefully he did. Hopefully he did. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't hear that part. But on some real shit, yeah, he though. Said, yeah, he said y'all, he had to. They had to form that shit because y'all was, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was in there trying to also trying to take everything from everybody and shit. Yeah, yeah, you can't rock. It's king shit. That's it. But this is what I'm saying, though. Check this out. I'm not a gang member, you heard? But what I'm saying is this. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> but check this out, right? Uh, Nah, it goes both ways, bro. I'm just, I'm saying that with a lot of truth. I'm joking, but with truth. And at the same time, joking, right? They left out a lot of things. They made themselves look bigger than what it actually was. And it's all good, right? Uh, it's good for entertainment. But uh, everybody going to have a problem when you outnumbered, right? And you look like you the oppressor because you numbers is up, right? Right, right. But right. it's weird because when I was there, right? And for the, for the, for the a true fact is that there's blacks that are kings that was on the island and all that, right? They left that part out. They got excluded during the war because of the war that was going on. Number two is, it looks like you the oppressor because your numbers is up, right? But it wasn't nothing about that they was being oppressed because there was always more blacks than anything on Rikers Island. Why the other people didn't do nothing? So all these years, they just fell back because they were soft? Nah, they wanted what the kings had. They said that was control of the prison, the money, the drugs. You get it? Who ain't trying to, who ain't trying to run where they at? No. All right. But then don't lie and say that you was being oppressed and the niggas was racist when blacks were always allowed to be king. Don't uh, use they that. Said, they said they was, they, was, they was getting dope from, you know what I'm saying? They weren't paying and shit, but that really was popping off. Yeah, of course. They was getting dope and they was in pain, right? And then they would come up and lie and say that they don't get high. They was Everybody was getting high. It's a fact. But you can't put in that much work when you in the box. There's only a certain amount of work you could put in. So a lot of these niggas were hiding for 45 years in the box, my nigga, while other real right bloods put in the work. And then they came out and got the fame and lied. I was putting in mad work. How, nigga? You was in the box for 30 years. You're lying. Hey, hey, hey. If you were in the box for 30 years, but you're in there for a reason, man. Bro, you did that one time. What they would do is do coward moves and come out the box and cut an innocent dude, pop, and get sent back to the box. Homie didn't have nothing to do with it, homie. He wasn't even king. You feel me? They were doing cowardly acts, nigga. They were swallowing batteries and all that, doing MO shit to stay in the box, nigga. That's not blood moves. No, man, you know, man, no, I don't tell Nah, nigga, I'm telling you facts, B. Bro, I'm telling you facts. They were swallowing batteries, cutting themselves <laughs> and all that. Yeah, nigga, just stay in the box, nigga. Then when the war was over, oh, it's safe now? I could come out? Yo, I'm the one that started that. Nigga, you's a bitch. You now you come out? 
Now, but listen, I'm not saying, that understand this. Do that. Type of activity happens, then that, that is cowardly activity. Yeah. But don't get, you're not, I'm not finished. It happened on both sides, right? Because I, I keep it a stack. Whoever don't listen will think you just this and no. Our people was doing that too, some niggas, swallowing batteries, cutting themselves, right? They just had to do it more in the beginning. What gets me mad is when we telling stories, we talking about way back, right? You can't get mad because your gang is not up and this time in the story, you get it? So that's what happens with us. And the shit like re re generates another little problem or argument with a nigga that don't understand the internet. You get it? If it was like that, I would have been bodied all them niggas. You get it? But what I'm saying is, if we're going to talk, talk to the real right people, homie. You get it? They got some other niggas. Uh, shout out to my man, Kano, that went on Queen's Flip. He's a real right one. And the pastor, rest in peace to the priest, Benny. He passed away. But other than that, you should have got niggas that was there, that was putting in work. Why you, so why you even on Queen's Flip then? Because I'm going to flip on Queen's Flip if I go on Queen's Flip. Like, I don't do shit like that. You ain't going to clown me and play with me. I'm going to fuck one of them niggas up. Huh? He's just a reporter like he just a YouTuber like you, man. I'm gonna punch him in his reporter face, nigga. <laughs> nah, I'm only yeah. playing. Yo, listen, he alright, man, but I ain't fucking with niggas like that, you heard? Uh uh. They alright, they alright, man. They not for the peoples, B. When you for the peoples, you for everybody. Hashtag love all people, right? You get it? Man, Queens they, flip. Man, they interview, they interview goddamn. They interview goddamn, oh, damn, Roxy Reynolds, man. They, they touch everything. Yeah, yeah, I like you, I like you, I like you. Yo, listen, you cool, you cool, you cool. Yo, but listen, this is what I'm saying. I don't know, Queen's Flip is all right, man. It's just, he's not my type of dude. He's there for his people. He's there just to help blacks. Facts. Man, man, look, man, he brought the dude on who broke his jaw. He, the dude looked like you who broke his jaw. Yeah, I, I, it probably was me. I've been dying to break his jaw. <laughs> I'm only playing. Yo, listen, shout out to Queen's Flip, bro. <laughs> You're my son. <laughs> nah, listen. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Yo, but check this out, B. On some real shit, though, He Queen's Flip is smart, bro. He bring the dude that, that, that broke his jaw. Trust me, bro. I'm, he never forgive him for that. I don't give a fuck how much you change, bro. You heard? That's the art of war, bro. Let me see him. Please. <laughs> Let me see him. Yeah. But shout out to Queen Flip, man. You know, I just don't, I just believe like this. If you're going to let blood niggas tell their story, then let Crip niggas tell the real right story. Because look, I'm going to keep it a stack. And I know a lot of bloods. I be around a lot of bloods, a lot of everything, bro. Right? So I don't hate nobody. But let's keep it a stack, my dude. Right? Let everybody have an equal opportunity, bro. Play Malcolm X in your head, bro. Like an equal opportunity. You can't keep letting this gang make itself look like they were superior over all when it wasn't the fact. The fact is that when people when state... He give you the microphone, you're going to say whatever you're going to say, but he, don't, he, he can't control what nobody say. Yeah, he do, he do control the narrative with his brain. Yeah, yeah, he do, bro. He do. A lot of these dudes are interviewers and content creators, but deep down inside, they, 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 they writing... Other gangs' dicks. But look, though, they had the Spanish dudes on there who, um, who, who they was warring with. I seen the Spanish dudes on there, too. Nah, bro, there was only two real right Spanish dudes that I know, which is Almighty Cano with the blonde hair, <laughs> right? He look white, he's chubby. Respects to my dude, Cano, I love you. Po Rilla 326. But other than that, I don't know no other real niggas they had on there. Who they had on there? The mother two drunken monks? I see. I'm, I'm from down. I'm from Florida, so I don't know. I just see who they put. I just see they. The gave priest, the priest, the priest, and Cano Almighty, Almighty Cano was the realest niggas that they could put up there. As far as they was there, the legendary stories they had. Man, Cano was nice. Cano is a monster. Cano was being nice, bro. And on top of that, there was like twenty kings there. Meg was there. <laughs> rappers, nigga, real right rappers. Rest in peace, Meg. There was other niggas there. Why you didn't let them niggas talk, niggas, say the real right story? Kano, Kano is a righteous dude today. You feel me? He trying to change his life. The priest is there. They talking politically and they talking right with intelligence, the way a real right king move. Why you didn't put a dumb out up there? So he could talk like dumb niggas was talking and say the fact. Like, ah, we had y'all niggas running. Because <laughs> huh? that's what they were saying. 
without the laughing and without ah clowning niggas. They were like, yo, you got to hold that L, nigga. Why L, nigga? Y'all signed the peace treaty. We came to an agreement. And after you signed the peace treaty, you try to clown niggas, you's a bitch, nigga. <laughs> Man, he said y'all was jigging them up, man. They gave y'all boys respect, man. Nah, they got to give us respect because we take that, bro. We earned that, nigga. We had niggas running. But check this out, right? Don't get tight. Check this out. <laughs> I'm only, hey, Nash, hey, what, what, I'm only joking. I'm only joking with a lot of truth. But what? I'm from Brooklyn. But what gets me mad is this, right? That dudes be trying to diss Crips. Like, yo, the Crips was running. They was. They were signing in and all. I seen it, right? Right? But we had you running, nigga. So there's no big eyes and little U's. And then there was a time that you had some of our people <laughs> running. You get it? And I'm just trying to say what's fair is fair, bro. Let's not try to come up here and outshine nobody. It was a hard time. It was a hard time. People went through shit. But if we had y'all running, y'all had the Crips running, we had y'all running. Patria niggas had y'all running. Like, and everybody had everybody running. That's what I'm saying. It's no disrespect right, to right, nobody. Right, yeah, everybody ran. There was times you went in houses <laughs> and y'all was up. Mic, gonna, but when I get the mic, I'm going to tell the story how when I had you. And I ain't gonna, see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what, that's what you right, right. And, and, and then there was times that there was no kings and you caught one king and he had to take that L. So don't try to make it look like you missed the high almighty for the internet so you could con your own people again. Because if you want to be technical, if you go to any jail in New York City right now, ask black people who's oppressing black people in the jail now. They wish there were still kings. Because, I mean, there still is kings, but as deep as before. Bro, <coughs> I probably saved more black lives than black people, homie. As king on the island. This is facts. Hey, somebody asked you this. You fuck with Alpo? Nah, I don't really, I mean, I fuck with it, like, as far as I respect them and all that, like, I don't know, all that shit that he ratted and all that, uh, uh, and, and he said he ratted, you heard, like, that part, I don't fuck with, but, um, the only reason why people went so hard, like, you gotta remember, again, bro, these dudes be fronting, you heard, uh, uh, Alpo's another Puerto Rican nigga, you heard, so, uh, when people spread hate, on the internet, it spreads in a long way, bro. And it leaks onto the streets with two races that were born and raised together in New York City. When hip-hop started, there was two people there, bro. Blacks and Puerto Ricans, bro. There was nobody else around in the beginning, right? It's the same thing when the crack ever, all that. Blacks and Puerto Ricans. Then you got a bunch of peppers that come on the internet and they got their own shit. He got a scar. Kings twisted him. They put him in a coma. Now he want to talk bad about this is time to dump doodle on Puerto Ricans and Spanish people in general. And it sets off a bad stigma and it leaves a bad taste to other people that look at it like, oh, they were just not letting us do nothing. Bro, there's Muslims. There were so many black people there. Like that is impossible that you could be the oppressor of all black people on right in a jail where it's dominated by blacks, bro. There's never been a time in Rikers Island where there's the numbers is more Puerto Ricans than blacks. Never. They out beaters by fucking the thousands, bro. Like, so there's not now that you wanted to steal and sneak thief and abuse innocent prisoners, then say that. And we were standing up for prisoners' rights. So were the nietas. Then say that because when the sneak thieving happened, the robbing of sneakers, the robbing of jewelry, you don't see Latinos doing that shit to each other on the island like that. They be trying to stop that shit. Now, so we've, done it. Saying, we've done it. We've so done it. We've done it. You know what I'm yeah, we y'all always been more. And that's what I'm saying. We always been more organized. What happened with that? You was reeking about a lot of jealousy. And they say that we wanted what they had, the unity and all that. We'll keep it on that. When you try to put it like we was oppressing and like we was all racist and all that. You leave a bad taste in people's mouth and not knowing us like I got black people in my house, nigga, in my family. We're Afro, nigga. Like their business clothing line is, <laughs> is called the black, black people in progress, nigga. Like you're, like, you're bugging, bro. Like and, and, and my nieces and my nephews and my family got to hear that, bro. Like because you don't know. You see a dude, you think, oh, he's Puerto Rican. Like you don't fucking know what the fuck we are, my nigga. You just hating 
because you just hated everybody, right? And it so happens right now, if you go outside in New York City, it's like all the Puerto Ricans are blood. There's mad Puerto Ricans that are blood, right? So my thing is this. If we're going to talk about stories from the past and you're going to tell your story, keep it a stack, my nigga. Don't come and lie and say they were just didn't like blacks, period. And they were all racist. Maybe that's, maybe that's when, when, felt, when, right? check it, when the beef, maybe when the beef, during, that's how he felt because they put the blows on that individual. So now, so now what happens is this, when now, after the war and during the war, the gangs that got along the most on Rikers Island is Kings and Bloods. If you go to Rik Rikers Island or, or the streets of New York City right now, you see Kings and Bloods together more than any other gang. You look at my videos. All my videos, all my friends are normally kings or bloods. This is facts. So it, it goes to show you, because we were the more the most one that was more like New York Rican with the English and all that. You get it? And plus, uh 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 dudes know who they could play that with. And Kings was always more like live wires than Kings. Like you're not doing that to every king. You heard? He's gonna put it through you. So they understood that clearly. But my thing is this, homie. Say the truth the way it is, bro. People are just scared to talk. If you ask a real right dude from New York, yo, who robbed you on the island? Who went in your locker and snuck off your commissary? He's, ask him what gang niggas do, was doing the sneak thieving and all that. He's going to say, bloods, nigga. This is just facts. Let's not lie, my nigga. You get it? He said that shit, 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 shit. He said, motherfucker, look like food. They look like food, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but when you look like food and they are food, that's oppression. You get it? And, and it, when you say a motherfucker look like food, he food. He can't hold that commissary. Why not? He's a black brother, bro. Ain't you blood? Why you robbing him? Hey, I, I ain't justifying or, or, or not to justify. I'm just telling you what I'm just saying. What, what, what I'm saying is, is jail. It's jail, right? What I'm saying is jail. Stop the preaching, bullshit, the lies, my nigga, and all that. Gladiator school. What we was doing to you was what you started doing and what you was trying to do from the gate to everybody. You were just mad that you was the one that wasn't doing it. Your numbers wasn't up like that. And you wanted it all. That's what happened. You get it? But it is what it is, B. You heard? I love you. <laughs> hey, so let me ask you this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm from down, I'm down so I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? So we're from New York. So Jay Z or Nas? None of them. Big I pun. I was just finna say, I know you finna probably gonna say pun. I know you was gonna say pun. Are yeah. You okay? So you put pun over all of them. I put pun over Biggie, Tupac, everybody. Pun and and Meg. Had much. He ain't had that much though, Murray. You know what I'm saying? Pun was the man though. But I might see my top rapper don't gotta be yours, bro. I don't gotta like Biggie. I I his, some of his songs were good. I think Big Pun was better. What's wrong with that? No, I ain't none. I ain't none of them. All right. right. That's not, racist. That's racist. racist. Just, is that racist? No, is is that just, racist though? No, that ain't racist, bro. I'm so, just checking the temperature out there, bro. You from New York, you feel me? My nigga, I'm letting you feel my temperature. You feel it, though? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the AC on, nigga. Yo, check this out. Check this out, though. I don't got to pick Biggie. I don't got to pick Tupac. They was ill, but I fuck with pun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For That's sure. racist? I would've, I would've, nah, I would have I would have put pun in, though, but when they... Well, you know when they talk about you know what I'm saying the, the conversation right now is 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 on you know uh -huh. easier so they still <laughs> nah I know I know I just I, I, I think I already knew you was a was a pun dude so that's why I didn't you know what I'm saying yeah I'm just fucking with you bro I love I love everybody but my thing is this right I just do that because people think that because they favor rapper is Jay Z or or Big. That your that that gotta be your top five. Everybody's top five is not the same. My role models is not your role models. You heard? Like, eh, we don't gotta like the same characters, the same game. You heard? I ain't fucking with none. I ain't fucking with none of them dudes. Yeah, fuck them niggas. You heard? Them niggas don't give a shit. 
Yeah. It's really funny to me. So, so see, I said, I don't know nothing about you. I have not seen your YouTube channel, nothing like that. So I'm just, you know, I'm, so you, so you all about your, what you Puerto Rican, right? What I look like, Indian? Yeah, you want some, some, one of them, one of them. Uh, I'm Indian, Puerto Rican, and Jamaican. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. I, African. Yeah, so, 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 so you Puerto Rican? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, all right, okay, okay, that's okay. That's what they told me. You don't believe them? I mean, they told us that Christopher Columbus discovered shit, right? He, he did, but he, he, he discovered it for them. <laughs> he he you can't discover something that was already here. If, if your people ain't know about it, then you, then you can't. You know what I'm Hold on. <coughs> you make me hot. You're making me hot, boy. Respectfully. I like you, though, bro. You heard? I, just be chilling. I like you. You all right, bro. You all right. You heard? You're a good dude, my brother. Uh, hopefully, you didn't take nothing in the wrong way here today. It's a learning experience for everybody. Hey, no, I, I know how y'all New York niggas is. Y'all aggressive and shit, man. This shit funny to me, though. Yeah, yeah. We, wanna, we, we, thinking, we thinking 